Pretty bad. Oh, the fuck. And that McDonald's was um, it was actually pretty mid, I believe, is what people say nowadays. It wasn't great. Let me let me just say that. But you know, I've been trying to get back into content for the longest time in, in some way, shape, or form. And again, not to make it as any sort of career or whatever, just for for fun, for for you know, a hobby, for an interest, you know, something to do, that kind of thing. And I've just never really found you know, the time or, or what I really want to do. And then for the longest time, I thought, why don't I just try and do some sort of, you know, fitness thing, not to turn into like a sort of fitness channel or, or anything like that. Ideally, I would love this channel to be just like vlogs about my life. You know, I, I have transitioned away from like gaming and pop culture stuff. I do stream from time to time. But in regards to actual videos, I just kind of wanted it to be me and all about me. But I couldn't really figure out the time, nor the place, nor the content exactly that I, I wanted to do. Well, I know what I wanted to do. Um, but I, I could never just really find the time to, to execute that. Um, one of the things that I have thought about for the longest time again was some sort of fitness thing, some sort of healthy lifestyle change as part of like a sort of sub-narrative or of my overall vlogs and things like that. Just, you know, as my videos go on, you know, I, I eat like this and I do things like this and this is how my body has changed over, you know, X amount of weeks or months or years or whatever it may be. And then every time that I've started to film something like that, I've just kind of thought, no, I don't want to be one of those people that, you know, puts their body on the internet because it can kind of be seen as, you know, you're just doing it for, you know, attention or the wrong reasons and, and things like that. And you know what? I, I just thought, fuck it. I, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do a video and see how it goes. And I'm going to do another one and another one and another one. And it might not go anywhere and I might fall completely off the content wagon once again. Um... But at least I would have tried it rather than almost a year later since my last video and not have done a single thing. Um, anyway, I went on a big massive tangent and a big massive segue. I I, I can't remember what the, the actual scales said there. It was certainly like 14 and a half at least stone um, that I am. And that's the, the second heaviest that I've been ever. Um, you know, just before the pandemic, I was 15 stone something, which... You know, I look like a small ball on top of like a slightly bigger ball, at least for me and, and how I've always looked and how I've always been weight wise and, and fitness levels and things like that. I think I just got a little bit comfortable in my life beforehand and I put on quite a bit of weight again for me um, and I wanted to make a change. Um, I might have put that picture somewhere on screen. And then, yeah, I quickly joined a gym late 2019, early 2020. Um, just before the pandemic hit and I got right into a good routine, you know, only not only exercise and gym classes wise but actual diet wise and, and routine wise and whatnot and I lost a fair bit of weight I, I in quite a short space of time um you know from the beginning of December 2019 right up until like mid-February I went from like 15 plus stone to 12 and a half if not a little bit less but it wasn't just you know going from slightly heavier to, to skinnier it was done and I think the right way and I never felt better I, I never you know felt better physically and mentally I loved the way that I looked I loved the way that my progress was going and I had all these you know, gym routines and whatnot, you know, kind of nailed down on a weekly basis and, and my, my diet was sorted. And then the pandemic hit and I tried to, to keep it as um, as consistent as possible. And I'm not saying that the pandemic was the reason that I've now put on, you know, a, a good couple of stone again. Certainly not. Because I did kind of maintain my, my fitness levels. I still, you know, ate fairly healthily. I exercised in the house and, you know, my, my government regulated walk per day for, you know, the, the extended period of, of lockdown, etc. Um, but, you know, my gym was closed and the classes were closed and they never really properly opened up again full time until this year being 2022. 20, um, and I've never really went back. Um, I have continued to pay, you know, the gym, as I'm sure many people have. Um, and my diet kind of went out the window. Um, and from there, I've just kind of slowly lost fitness levels, cardio levels. I, I, I had COVID as well at some point. Um, and yeah, overall, I've just kind of fell back into this, this poor routine of not eating right or eating right but then snacking quite a bit or eating right for breakfast and then having a big massive lunch or dinner or, or something you know my whole point is you know I fell into or I've left a good routine into a bad routine and it's not really something that I want to maintain because I look in the mirror and I'm like yeah you're not you know excuse me for being crass I'm not a big fat guy <laughs> um but you know I, I've certainly got you know a, a, a belly on me and you know my my moves are starting to show and I'm not as fit as I used to be and my diet's terrible and normally when I 
you know, prior to going on stream or whenever I would make a, a video before, I'd make sure that my hair was perfect and my beard was trim and, you know, you know, my beard's fairly trim um, and my hair's not bad. But, you know, today before I came on, I thought, you know what, fuck it. You know, you, you've not really done much today, but I think, you know, quite a lot of, you know, my, just the way I look as in like my hair and my skin and, and things like that are, are attributed or they certainly are to, to my diet and my poor physical health and, and whatnot. Not poor physical health, that makes it seem like it's really detrimental, it's not. But my lack of good physical health or exercise or fitness. And it's, you know, it's made my skin a bit patchy sometimes and it's made my hair probably thin, thinner than it has to be or, or should be. Maybe that's just coincidental, who knows. Um, and yeah, I think I, I, I want to get back on track. I want to start exercising again. I, I've got a lot of things coming up at the end of August that um, I would really like to look a little bit better for. So that's my goal, at least initially. I don't mean I'm going to go back to 12 stone, not at all. Um, and I think 12 stone for someone of my age and my height is is probably fine. I could probably go to 12 and a half, if not 13, if it was, you know, a little bit leaner. Um, but that's kind of where my goals are and where my, where my aspirations lie. And yeah, again, I just really wanted to get back into content. So this video is not going to be super edited. It's not going to be super interesting, maybe interesting, but it's not going to be super visually interesting. Um, it's not going to be, you know, cool cuts and transitions and, and, and all that sort of thing. It's just going to be me chatting to the camera and a little bit before it, just to kind of lay out what I want to do, where I'm going to go. And again, just a nudge in the right direction to get back in the, the, the you know, the whole sort of content ship. I, I want to do content, again, just for fun. I love being creative and I love making videos, even if nobody watches it. You know, that's fine, you know, so long as I've done a creative process, because I've got quite a creative job as well. I work in social media and I do quite a lot of video and, and photo, you know, editing, um, as it currently is. You know, I, I feel kind of bad that I've fell away from that and I've kind of lost that part of myself a little bit. Um... So yeah, I'm just going to continue to make videos. I'm not going to, again, turn into like a fitness channel or a fitness influencer. I'm not going to, you know, record my workouts at the gym. I'm not going to record all my meals and all my macros. And I'm not even going to do it that, you know, that that deep either. You know, in my mind, the, the easiest way to lose weight and essentially the only way to lose weight is to burn more calories than you're taking in. You know, macros and things are fine. I don't mean like burn a thousand calories per day and then have like 900 calories worth of sugar that's obviously not gonna help anybody but you know i'm still gonna have desserts i'm still gonna have my treats i'm not gonna completely cut everything out for the sake of like kale smoothies and things like that no not at all i am gonna eat healthier i'm gonna watch my calorie intake and i'm gonna balance that with you know fitness and exercise and whatnot but i'm still gonna go out for dinner at the weekend <clears throat> i'm still gonna go on nice dates with with my girlfriend i'm I'm still going to treat myself and things like that, but I'm going to do it in moderation and I'm going to do it properly. So I don't have a diet. I don't really think diets are the way to go because, anyway, I've got loads of thoughts on diets. I'm just going to make sure that I take in less calories per day um, than, than I currently am and that I'm burning more calories than, again, I'm taking in. And that's it. That's all I need to do and that's what I've done before. That's what worked for me. Again, I still had like two takeaways per week when I was on my really good fitness regime, you know, a Saturday and a Sunday or a Friday or a Saturday or... Whatever, I don't really need to tell you when I was having takeaways, but um, yeah, I, I done it. So long as it was done in moderation and overall it was done fine, it worked for me. Um, I'm not going to say it's going to work for everyone, but it should. <laughs> um, I, I, on a standard basis, again, I'm not a, a nutritionist or a, a PT or anything. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to the gym classes that I liked before as well as the actual gym itself because it's nice to have a little bit of variation and a bit of routine. Um, and yeah, that's what's going to happen. Again, I'm not going to just make constant videos on here I am after one week and here I am after two weeks or a month or six months or whatever it is. And again, it's not going to be a fitness channel. It's going to be a vlogging channel. It's going to be whatever videos that I want to make. And as I go on, I do want to make, you know, really good edited videos, visually appealing videos, that sort of thing. Nice transitions, cuts, editing styles, all that stuff. Get the drone back out. Get my GoPro back out. I bought a GoPro and I made one video with it. I have bought a drone. I've made two, three videos with it completely at most so i want to go back out i want to go back out hiking i want to explore more of scotland i want to make more fun videos that way um and again just sprinkled throughout that hopefully you should see or at least i should see whether you see or not whether anyone's watching this i don't know um but then i should hopefully see just a little bit of change in myself you know the way that i look physically i will feel lighter i should feel better i should feel healthier both from just being fitter but also you know, just skin wise and hair wise and, and general fitness wise and lung capacity wise and all that good stuff. Um, and just gen generally feel a bit better about myself mentally. Uh, you know, I'm not saying that I'm depressed or, or anxious or anything like that, you know, that, you know, that's, that's fine. But, you know, sometimes you look at yourself when you're just not happy with, with where you are. 
and you want to be somewhere else and you've been somewhere else in the past and you know that you can get back there again. Um, that's what I want to do. And again, this is almost a video to keep myself accountable for that as well. It's not just to, to put it out into the world and get attention or, or anything like that. Not at all. I, I do terrible with attention. Um, it's a wonder why I make content or stream, but um, it is also to keep myself accountable and to have some sort of visual journey and visual log throughout it again every five videos you know for for argument's sake it could be here's my progress sort of update whereas the last four videos have been me exploring somewhere up in scotland or just doing fun things in my house or buying a new bit of equipment or or anything else that it could have been you know going to fun events and all that sort of stuff um so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go back into it this is a this is you know just my 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 step to get back on you know the, the content wagon i've recorded five six videos over the past you know year or at least year coming up to, to my last video um they've all been in different things silly things and i've just you know been in the process of editing them and just not enjoyed it i've been looking at it and going this is terrible i'm not enjoying what editing it i'm not enjoying watching it back why would anyone else want to do that and i'm not saying that this video that you're watching now again if you're watching um is going to be like that but again it's more just to get my get myself back on track you know get that get that creative bug and spark going once again and um, again, just to keep myself accountable to to eat better and exercise more, change the way I look, change my diet, hopefully feel better in every sense of the word. Um, and yeah, just to, to keep going and, and seeing what happens and, and all that sort of thing. So if you want to come with me on this journey, uh, you're more than welcome to do so. Um, I will be posting randomly. I'm not going to keep myself to a schedule. I'm going to post as much as I can, you know, probably aim for once a week or once a fortnight roughly give or take but again if i'm sitting in a house for a week and i'm not feeling very well and I'm not, or i'm not doing anything exciting or i'm doing absolutely just nothing but work in my, my day job i'm not going to make videos on that but if i do decide to go on a hike if i do decide to visit somewhere new if i do decide to buy a new piece of kit or use old pieces of kit that i haven't used in a long time then sure i'll put the camera on and i'll have some fun hopefully have some fun um and kind of go from there but that's it that's it from me um, I'm not going to like do that thing where I, I get my body out and things like that. I, I can't be asked if I'm being perfectly honest with you. But just know there's a nice little ledge there and it's something that I would like to get rid of. But again, we saw I can't remember the actual weight. I'll need to go back and look at the footage. Um, and those are also like Fitbit scales. So it records to my app and things like that. So you can see a nice graph, hopefully, of it decreasing over time and, and whatnot. And, um, you know, I'll make sure that I'm, I'm meeting my steps and closing my, my rings on my Apple Watch and... And getting all my awards and all that good stuff. And, and just, yeah. I'm just kind of going around in circles again. Um, but yeah, if you want to follow us, again, you can watch the videos. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you want. All my social medias are down below. Follow me if you want. I'm not funny anywhere. I try to be funny, but I'm not funny. I don't really post anything exciting. But if you want to follow me there, you're more than welcome to do so. I stream sporadically as well. That's kind of where I do continue with the games and whatnot. And I do have like a separate sort of archive channel. If you ever want to go back and, and watch those, you don't need to. But again... I, I do want to continue doing that stuff because I love games. Um, and yeah, I've also got my own beard oil. If you want, you know, a nice smooth beard that, that smells of, of of blood orange and lemongrass, or sweet orange and lemongrass, my apologies, um, you're more than welcome to do so. Again, links will be in the description down below for where you can purchase that stuff and the social medias for that as well. But again, you don't need to do any of that if you are still here. If you are here, hello. I hope you're well. Um, and if you're not, and I'm just speaking into the ether, then hello to people thousands of years in the future who are reviewing this as, you know, um, ancient human history of what people used to do and whatnot. Um, or if it's played at my funeral in hopefully 60 years time, roughly give or take, if I make it that long. Anyway, we'll wait and see. Um, that was a bit grim. I'm going to end it here. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful rest of your week and all that good stuff. Um, I'm going to edit this. It's currently half past nine. I'm going to edit it tonight and I'm going to put it out tonight or tomorrow, probably tomorrow now, using my social media brain. Um, or my day job, I, I'm going off on a tangent. Have a good day. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.